Right, Bob. Oh, uh, yeah. It's been a nasty day up here, but not hard. Not like it's intended to kill everything. But the, the, the bottom of the corrugated concrete still support underneath the, the deck. It's about halfway up. The old steps used to be. The old step up it hasn't gotten up for a flat layer. Here, the flat layer the top. I don't think it's called. But Bridge and I am working on with men. One of the local contractors tried to sell me. He was going to sell me a big concrete block felt where a septic tank is. And two big hippies from coming down to the top of the two concrete pillars back into the house to keep the from tilting. They've been tilting, they've moved into the top of them. They've moved maybe about four or five inches. And I said, problem is we're sitting on a, a plane. Some soil here, and it's been wet long enough so that the slurry or just a kind of plastic mess, and the whole damn building starts to tip. George thinks that this will go up. The first guy that I proposed to have this, they put in a big concrete rock. Joey decided we just put a chain around the tree that's kind of right outside the bathroom window. The big ash tree, which just all the doors at the, the door at the side of the building and use them for anchors and anchor the want to change each of those trees to the top of the two front yard. I, it's finished. I'm right here and hopefully I don't go floating down the river. I let move my order and my car up the overs so that if it gets to Rambon just down here as it did a week or two ago, I can go up deep in the door, I can go up flake out on Uber's couch. And I guess pretty much the nose from here. A week or so, I woke up when I heard the water roaring outside the house. It was 13 inches deep between the stairs to the house and the garden, in the field there. And the high water line went almost up to the garden. The next morning, the fire department came to help me get out. They had this side of the, well, the way as a to be evacuated section of town for every wedding. So they helped me get out at 7 a.m. and I went back about 3 o'clock in the afternoon. I laid a, a rope in my so I'd have a way to get back in. Walking around holding a rope and walking with 17 inches of high speed current. I can do that. And I've got the rope already out there now. If it gets up tonight, I'll walk out and I'll bother waiting for the fire department. If you saw part of that, I may be down and see her as so. well. Bye bye.